Mr. G-Man or G-Con, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. You and No Stabs, Vocab, Malone. Both of y'all are garbage. None of y'all know nothing about the tour. None of y'all know nothing about the Most High. This little demon y'all worshiping. One of y'all own boys even came on on tour nights and admitted. This nigga admitted that y'all worship Lucifer. That Jesus Christ or Jesus Christ, whatever the fuck y'all want to call that little damn butt fucker. Is what? Lucifer. We should have included a strong language warning before we began this video. But let it be known that any time members of the S.H.I.E.L.D. squad, including myself, Master Vocab Malone, interact with those who believe they are Hebrew Israelites, foul language will ensue because these men are from the dark side. You have just been introduced to the newest member of the Torah Knights. Although he is a simple Torah Knight clone, he hails from the faraway regions of the Outer Rim territories. He talks just like them. Foul. He thinks just like them. Not at all. And he argues just like them very poorly. Behold, it is the return of the Torah Knight clones. Do you know what was the actual words used? In the original King James Bible. Not these new translations and shit, but the original. You know what it said? It said the Magi. Now, when you look up the definition of the word Magi, a Magi is what? A person that uses witchcraft or sorcery. So when Judas calling you a motherfucking goddamn sorcerer, he's in the right to do so. For the simple fact, nigga, you are a sorcerer. As long as you believe it in that Jeebus, Jeebus character, you a fucking sorcerer. Nigga. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our Torah Knight clone, Master Drink and Smoke, gets into the original text, the King James Bible. The King James Bible, authorized in 1611, in English. A language which was not fully developed until perhaps 500 A.D. Or later. It merely appeared in 500 A.D., I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the point is, that English was not around when Jesus lived. Indeed, we must go to the Greek. The language of Matthew. Who wrote the word magos in Greek, which it is true that sometimes this Greek word could be used to mean sorcerer, much like Darth Vader or the Emperor. So be it, Jedi. Your friends are walking into a trap of my devising. And now, young Skywalker, you will die. I'm sorry to inform you that the Death Star is quite operational. Your fate and your friends is yours. By now you must know that you're... <laughs> Enough. We must delve into the language that Matthew himself wrote, Greek. We see Magos, and it is true that sometimes it could be used to denote no sorcerer. But it could also be used to denote wise man, because words can have more than one meaning. This is possible. In fact, it happens all the time. Magos were learned astronomers, also dabbling in astrology, because that was the order of the day. They came from the east, perhaps have heard the prophecies while the Jews were in Babylon or under Persian rule and wanted to find this king of the Jews. Notice when they arrive and see the king of the Jews, what do they do? They worship him. They understood that his birth and arrival were miraculous events designed to be miraculous and glorious for all the nations and they worship the Messiah. 
These magi understood more than the Torah Knights, because they recognized that Christ was the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecies. Perhaps Master Drink and Smoke could learn something from these magi, which does not need to mean sorcerer, and that's why it's translated as wise man, because that was what that class of aristocrat was trained to do in that part of the world during that time. And it's also a fulfillment in prophecy that Gentiles would recognize the Messiah. Let me read from Psalm 72.10. May the kings of Tarshish and other coastlands render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. And they did, including myrrh, which was used in crucifixion and in burial a sign of his impending death, because that was his mission. Remember, they worshipped him. These were not pagan idol worshippers. At that moment, they recognized who Christ was as they bowed down to the king. Again, these men were wiser than any Torah knight. All y'all that claim that y'all Christians or wannabe Hebrew Israelites and don't even worship the Most High, you still worship other, all these other little deities and idols and shit, especially that bullshit cracker-ass motherfucker got dang on Serapis Crestus or Jesus Christ, since y'all worship that so much. This is a notice to every single one of y'all. If y'all think y'all can defend y'all word against the average Joe, not even someone that's that's well, well-versed as as and not not even real verse, but have more material to 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 show on the camera and what have you, as Judah and the rest of the Torah knights. But just an average Jew. I bet you any kind of money this average Jew will wax every single one of y'all on this dang on platform. Come with it. Yeah, how well card only. Oh, master, drink and smoke, offering challenges. <laughs> no. Challenge we will not accept because your backwards is more than syntax is mine, meaning your theology is even more backwards than my syntax. May the force be with you. Shield squad out. <laughs>